Well, your roof is one thing you might not worry about keeping clean. But insurance companies are now saying you should. Consumer reporter John Matarese explains how it could affect your policy so you don't waste your money. Is your roof dirty? Does it have dark streaks or perhaps some green moss growing on it? It's not just a nuisance. Insurance companies, believe it or not, are now canceling policies because of roofs they consider to be too dirty. Bob Foppy never thought much about the dark streaks on his roof. After all, it wasn't leaking. That was until he received a letter from his insurance company threatening cancellation. I got a uh, letter from my insurance company. They'd come on the day I wasn't home, walked around the outside, took some pictures. And didn't like what they saw. The letter indicated mold and algae staining his roof and vinyl siding on the shady side of his house. Um, they said if I didn't correct it that they could terminate my policy. We get phone calls every week from homeowners that are... Mike Jackson runs a siding and roof cleaning business that's getting a lot of business these days now that more and more insurance companies are warning homeowners to clean their roofs. It catches them by surprise because roof stains kind of go unnoticed until they get the letter. The reason for these letters, moss can eventually damage asphalt shingles and insurers don't want to pay for a new roof. And really, they don't need to be replaced, they just need to be cleaned. A new roof costs $5,000 to $10,000. A professional cleaning, about $500. Bob Foppy decided to hire a cleaner. And they used their cleaning solution and scrubbed it. More importantly, it prevented a costly insurance cancellation. Websites are filled with suggestions for cleaning your roof yourself, and yes, you can, but two cautions. One, standing on a steep roof is a serious safety risk. And two, if you blast your roof with a garden hose or pressure washer, you can seriously damage the roofing shingles. So be careful and don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries.